Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Kapaganti Sisters. If you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe the channel for more updates. Okay, shall we move into the topic? Hmm, well, now we are going to discuss about the topic Shortcut to find maxima and minima for cubic functions. This topic, maxima and minima, is very important for the competitive exams like mains, set, and advanced. So let us move into the topic. Well, if the given equation is in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, then the formula we have to remember is x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 3ac by 3a. If you remember this formula, we, we can easily find this cubic functions. Okay? Let us see an example. First example. x cube minus 9x square plus 15x plus 4. Now, let us compare the terms. Okay? Here, a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 9, and c is equals to 15. Here, d is ne no, not needed for, for our formula. Okay. Here, what is our formula? x is equals to minus b plus or minus into root of b square minus 3ac by 3a. So, now I am going to substitute the terms. Here, my b, uh, b is equals to minus so 9. So, minus of minus 9 plus or minus and the root of b square. What is b square? Minus 9 square minus 3 a value 1 and c value 15 by 3 into a value 1. So, now I am going to do simplify this minus into minus plus so 9 plus or minus under root of 9 square 81 minus 15 threes of 45 by 3 which is equals to 9 plus or minus under root of 81 minus 45 will get 36 by 3 which is equals to root 36 is what 6 by 3. If we, if we simplify by keeping plus in once and a minus in one time, so we will get the answers as 5 or 1. So, here, maximum value is, here maximum value is 1 and uh, minimum value is 5. So, to confirm whether my answer is correct or not, uh, I am confirming my answer whether my answer is correct or not. So, I am using the formula 3ax plus b to confirm whether our answer is correct or not. Hmm... So, I am going to substitute the value here is equals to so 1. So, I will get 3x plus b. Now, I am going to substitute x value as 1. So, uh, we will get 3. Here, b value is minus 9. No? So, minus 9 which is equals to minus 6 which is less than 0. So, if double derivative is negative, it is confirmed that it is a maximum value. Okay, if our double derivative is negative, it is confirmed that it is a maximum value. Okay, yes. Uh, now I am going, going to substitute in the place of x, 5. 3 into 5. Here b value is 9. So minus 9, which is equals to 3. 5 is 15 minus 9, which is equals to 6, which is greater than 0. 
So if our second derivative is positive, it is confirmed that it is a minimum value. I am saying that in every question, we will get that lower value will always give you maxima and higher value will always give you minimum value. Wasn't it very quick? So, so I am going to give you an another example for you. So please try it and give me your answers in the comment box. So thank you everyone for listening patiently. Thank you. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Bye bye. Thank you.